Good evening and welcome to All Hallows Episcopal Church on this Tuesday, July 16th. Wow. Um, for a service of Compline or Night Prayer, as it's called in New Zealand, since we are using the New Zealand prayer book. Um, if you don't have a copy, it's available online. It's just a wonderful resource for praying. But listen, listen to us pray. I'm so thankful to have Bill Bowie here to help lead. Good evening, Bill. Good evening, Chris. We'll and, take, everyone. and everyone, we'll take a moment just to breathe, and then we'll begin. The angels of God guard us through the night. And quieten the powers of darkness. The Spirit of God be our guide. To lead us to peace and to glory. It is but lost labor that we haste to rise up early and so late take rest and eat the bread of anxiety. For those beloved of God are given gifts even while they sleep. Again, an opportunity to breathe. My siblings, our help is in the name of the eternal God. Who is making the heavens and the earth. Dear God, thank you for all that is good, for our creation and our humanity, for the stewardship you have given us of this planet Earth, for the gifts of life, and of one another, for your love which is unbounded and eternal. O thou most holy and beloved, my companion, my guide upon the way, my bright evening star, we repent the wrongs we have done. We have wounded your love. O God, heal us. We stumble in the darkness. Light of the world, transfigure us. We forget that we are your home. Spirit of God, dwell in us. Eternal Spirit, living God, in whom we live and move and have our being. All that we are, have been, and shall be is known to you, to the very secret of our hearts and all that rises to trouble us. Living flame burn in us, cleansing wind flow through us, fountain of water well up within us, that we may love and praise in deeds and in truth. Eternal Spirit, flow through our being and open our lips, that our mouths may proclaim your praise. Let us worship the God of love. Alleluia, alleluia. Psalm 4. Answer me when I call, O God, for you are the God of justice. You set me free when I was hard-pressed. Be gracious to me now and hear my prayers. Men and women, how will you turn my glory to my shame? How long will you love what is worthless and run after lies? Know that God has shown me such wonderful kindness. When I call out in prayer, God hears me. Tremble, admit defeat, and sin no more. Look deep into your heart before you sleep and be still. Bring your gifts just as you are and put your trust in God. Many are asking who can make us content. The light of your countenance has gone from us, O God. Yet you have given my heart more gladness than those who, whose corn and wine and oil increase. I lie down in peace, and sleep comes at once. For in you alone, O God, do I dwell unafraid. From Matthew. Do not ask anxiously, what are we to eat? What are we to drink? What shall we wear? A whole world runs after such things. Set your heart and mind on God's commonwealth and justice first, and all the rest will come to you as well. So do not be anxious about tomorrow. Today has enough problems of its own. Tomorrow can look after itself. 
Let's just take a moment to meditate on those words. Amen. Amen. Into your hands, O God, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O God of truth and love. Keep me, O God, as the apple of an eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Preserve us, O God, while waking, and guard us while sleeping. That awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in your peace. Praise be to God, I have lived to see this day. God's promises fulfilled and my duty done. At last you have given me peace, for I have seen with mine own eyes the salvation you have prepared for all nations, a light to the world in its darkness and the glory of your people Israel. Glory be to God, sustaining, redeeming, sanctifying, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Preserve us, O God, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in your peace. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Eternal Spirit, earth maker, pain bearer, life giver, source of all that is and that shall be, Father and Mother of us all. Loving God, in whom is heaven, the hallowing of your name echo through the universe. The way of your justice be followed by all the peoples of the world. Your heavenly will be done by all created beings. Your commonwealth of peace and freedom sustain our hope and come on earth. With the bread we need for today, feed us. In the hurts we absorb from one another, forgive us. In times of temptation and test, strengthen us. From trials too great to endure, spare us. From the grip of all that is evil, free us. For you reign in the glory of the power that is love, now and forever. Amen. In this moment of intercession, we come before God to lift up the people and things that are on our hearts, and we can speak them aloud wherever we are, or we can hold them silently in our heart. Or if our brains are too scattered to make sense of what we need to lift up, lift up all of it, and God will make sense of it. We start by praying for all those on our parish prayer list. For Annie, Larry, Amaya, Mike, Bill, Linda, Judy and Jack, Charlotte, Bill, Donald, Karen, Bob and June, Ben, Phyllis, Bob, Robin, William, Alexandra, Frank, Mackenzie, John, Ann, Sean and Ann, Patricia, Donna, Tom and family, Bob and family, the Greenberg, Jelrod, Nolan, Hayduk, Bebus, and Tochek families, for Stephen, Janine, and Alex. We pray for all those who in this world are struggling, struggling with sense of purpose, struggling because they are lonely, or they are overcrowded, struggling because they've been bullied and been discriminated against. For all those who are suffering in any way, for the unhoused and the hungry, for those living with addiction, those struggling with their mental health. We 
We pray for the unemployed and the underemployed. We pray for our world, for the end of violence everywhere, especially the wars in Ukraine and Sudan in the Middle East and Gaza, for all those displaced by war and violence around the world, the refugees, and those who are particularly vulnerable, for the children, the elderly, the disabled, we pray for aid agencies as they seek to bring shelter, food, and water. We pray for world leaders that they may seek to bring peace. Here in this country, we pray for an end of violence, and from gun violence in our streets, an end of political violence, an end of hate that is running rampant just because somebody has a different idea. We pray for an end of racism, discrimination in all its forms. We pray for Abington, Jenkintown, Cheltenham, Wincote, and Glenside, our leaders and our first responders. We pray for the church. That with all the problems of the churches around the world, we may be unified under the love of Christ and be willing to share that love without condition to everyone we encounter. And we do remember all who have died that they may have a place in God's eternal kingdom, especially for the saints of all hallows. And we give thanks, because whatever else is going on, there is reason to give thanks, and we just have to look for it. It might have been an unexpected smile or encounter with somebody a laugh, the sun that is shining, the air that we breathe, we give thanks to God for creation. We give thanks for friendship and family, for birthdays and anniversaries and new jobs and new opportunities and all those things that, that we encounter in the day to day the blessings we see and the blessings that go by unnoticed. I give thanks for Bill and his many ministries at All Hallows, for all the people of All Hallows. All these prayers we lift up to you, O God, in the sure and certain hope that you hear and will act as is best for us. Amen. Amen. I lie down in peace and take my rest. For it is in God alone that I dwell unafraid. May God's name be praised beyond the furthest star. Glorified and exalted above all forever. Let us pray. Lord, it is night. The night is for stillness. Let us be still in the presence of God. It is night after a, it is night after a long day. What has been done has been done. What has not been done has not been done. Help us to let it be. The night is dark. Let our fears of the darkness of our world and of our own lives rest in you. The night is quiet. Let the quietness of your peace enfold us, all dear to us and all who have no peace. The night heralds the dawn. Let us look expectantly to a new day, new joys, new possibilities. In your name, we pray. Amen. Amen. To God, the creator who loved us first and gave this world to be our home. To God, the redeemer who loves us and by dying and rising pioneered the way of freedom. 
To God the Sanctifier, who spreads the divine love in our hearts, be praise and glory for time and for eternity. The blessing of God, the eternal goodwill of God, the shalom of God, the wildness and the warmth of God be among us and between us now and always. The divine spirit dwells in us. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. Thank you for joining us this evening for prayer. Thank you, Bill, for helping to lead. Yes, we will be back on Wednesday and Thursday at 8 p.m. for our service of night prayer, Compline. Um, and you are welcome to join us. Tomorrow at 1030, we are having our Bible study, and that's in person and via Zoom. Yeah. Come as you are able. Um, if you need the Zoom link, let me know. Also, we have Eucharist at right about noon in the church. And hopefully I'll remember to turn the air conditioning on um, so that it will cool off a little for us. Mm -hmm. Sunday, our service is at 10 o'clock. And remember that all are welcome in all hallows always. We hope that you have a peaceful night. Be at peace. Pray for peace.